Today's topic of discussion is preparation of comparative statement of profit and loss of a joint stock company. And this lesson is for class 12. A comparative statement of profit and loss is prepared to show trends or changes in various items of incomes and expenses over a period of time. It shows the changes in absolute term as well as in percentage. A comparative statement of profit and loss provides the following information. It shows the rate of increase or decrease in revenue from operations. Rate of increase or decrease in cost of material consumed. Rate of increase or decrease in incomes and expenses and rate of increase or decrease in the net profit. This is the format of statement of profit and loss and comparative statement reflect more than that. The data collected is of two years. The current years are shown first and the data of the previous year in the next column. To make a comparison, the differences are reflected in absolute term, that is in money terms as well as in percentage term. We will do the calculation of changes later on. Let us first of all focus on the format of statement of profit loss. The first item is revenue from operation. Second, other incomes and the total is total revenue. The total of expenses are going to be subtracted from total revenue. The expenses are shown under different heads A to G. Cost of raw material consumed, purchases of finished goods, change of inventory, employees benefit expenses, financial cost, depreciation and amortization, other expenses and total of expenses. The difference between total revenue and total expenses will be net profit before tax and then we subtract the tax to get net profit after tax. Let us proceed to explain each item of statement of profit and loss in a little more detail. The first item is revenue from operations. Revenue from operations traditionally known as net sales that is total revenue from operations minus return inwards. The second item is other income. Other incomes include incomes other than revenue from operations. That means rent received, dividend received, interest received, discount received or any other income for example profit on sale of an asset. The total of 1 and 2 that is revenue from operations and other incomes will be total revenue. The expenses are shown under the following headings. Cost of raw material consumed. This is the first item of expense. All manufacturing concerns have raw material which is ultimately converted into finished goods. Cost of raw material consumed, if the amount is not given, is calculated like this. Opening stock of raw material plus purchase of raw material minus closing stock of raw material. The next head of expenditure is purchases of finished goods. If it is a trading concern, 
it won't have raw material there will be purchases of finished goods some of the manufacturing concern may also buy finished goods in case they fall short of goods so purchases of finished goods will be shown as second item of expense the third head of expenditure is change of inventory basically change of inventory is the difference between opening stock of finished goods and closing stock of finished goods that is opening stock minus closing stock if it is a positive amount it will be added in the expense and if it is negative it will be shown in the brackets to reflect subtraction the fourth head of expenses is employees benefit expenses employees benefit expenses include payments and entitlements of employees like salaries wages bonus and other allowances the next in the list of expenses financial cost financial cost include interest on bank loan interest on debentures and bank charges these are the expenses relating to the finance and its management and the next head of expenses depreciation and amortization depreciation represent depreciation on fixed tangible assets like depreciation on building depreciation on machinery or depreciation on furniture whereas amortization reflects decrease in intangible assets for example goodwill written off patents written off or trademarks written off that's known as amortization and the last head of expense is other expenses employees benefit expenses include payments and entitlements of employees like salaries wages bonus and other allowances now after discussing uh, having discussed the expenses all the expenses will be totaled now as shown in the yellow color we are going to find the difference between total revenue and total expenses so net profit before tax will be the difference between number 3 item that is total revenue and number 4 items that is total expenses 3 minus 4 so net profit before tax number 3 minus number 4 then we subtract the tax here i have taken an example of 40% tax subtract from net profit to calculate net profit after tax now let us proceed to to calculate the changes which are shown in the comparative statement of profit and loss the first item is revenue from operations current year figure 20 lakh last year figure 16 lakh so absolute change is 4 lakh therefore a minus b all items the current year are shown under a category and previous year b category so a minus b equal to c that is absolute change percentage change is calculated c divided by b that is change divided by the item of previous year 
so 4 lakh divided by 16 lakh equal to 25 percent similarly we will calculate all the changes in absolute term and percentage term absolute is calculated as difference between current year and previous year whereas percentage is calculated by dividing the change with the value of previous year so i am going to take a sample of few items for example total revenue current year 22 lakh last year 17 lakh absolute change 5 lakh and percentage change is calculated 5 lakh divided by 17 lakh equal to 29.41 percent another example financial cost current year 12,500 last year 15,000 absolute change is coming in negative so therefore the amount is shown in the brackets 2500 percentage change 2500 divided by 15,000 into 100 equal to 16.67 percent shown in the brackets because it is a negative figure and that will that way we will continue and finally the net profit after tax will also be shown by taking the absolute change and percentage change so 5 lakh 5500 minus 3 lakh 77400 equal to 1 lakh 28100 and percentage 33.94 percent hence a comparative statement of profit and loss shows the figures of revenue from operations incomes expenses and net profit or loss for two or more years so that changes in absolute data in terms of money as well as in terms of percentage may be shown that's all for the statement. I hope you were able to understand.